Hello, I am Joe Alexey, and welcome back to Morrowind! So we're here outside of... what is this place? Ada Sha Shanamana Namuma, something like that. We're out here. Now, I went ahead and I got some torches, and pretty much I had an error with the game. Something was wrong, something was missing or something. Kind of like whenever I uh, ran from that girl that summoned an enemy. But I had to reload our autosave, and I did do a little bit of a catch-up. I went ahead and filled in the spots that we filled in, except for these two, I think. I don't know if we got them. But anyways, I found some more uh, places all along the coastline. I didn't go in them. I figured I'd save them for you guys. But they are kind of close. So, all right, I'm going to kill him real quick. Interrupting my discussion. All right. Okay. Uh, pretty much, uh, my impression of this area was we had the uh, Wimmer Ruin we could have went in and this Daedric Shrine. There's actually another Daedric Shrine just a little further out this way. I don't know if we've been in it or not. Are you friendly? You won't escape me that easily. This thing is... Time to die, little man. Oh my god, this place is packed. Alright. Now that that's done. Okay, so pretty much there is a lot of places just like around here that we could easily pick up and rob. I should have known better. Okay. That works. Ooh. That's probably worth... The... Yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to take that and we're going to sell it. Okay. Now that I have finally killed everybody, I can probably get this out now without getting interrupted. Pretty much, there is a lot of places around here. One of them is a sixth house, um, whatchamacallit, shrine, or, well, I don't know if it's got a shrine in it, but it's a cave with all the red lights and old boy at the end of the hall. There's also another cave that ties back into the dungeon of this place, this Hall of Marin. It's kind of like a sewer exit. It's like right here. So I guess we could have snuck up through there. Where's my lockbox? Hmm. Must have broken it. Must have broken it! But pretty much there is a back way into that place. I'm pretty sure we have already been all up in there, so... Ooh, ooh. Light. We're gonna go check it out. Possibly if this place and the other place isn't very big. I'm taking all of that. We can at least sell it for a dollar a piece and make a profit. But pretty much, there is like so much for us to do this episode. I was wanting to do uh, just this Daedric Ruin and, or not this Daedric, yeah, this Daedric Ruin and the Dwemer Ruin in this episode. But seeing how there's like so many things in this area, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do this Daedric Ruin, do the Dwemer Ruin, and then probably hit that other Daedric Ruin, and that will get us prepped for the next area, which is the Six House. But if these are small areas, we'll probably go ahead and just hit the Six House too. If I remember where it's at, it's not too far. And there's also another cave, like, in a bog around here somewhere. Stuff that i seen on my journey back up to here, up to this point. Which we really didn't have that much, uh, journey in to do. Okay, was that all in there? For real. That can't be it. Is there, like, a hole in the roof up here we can miracle our way up in? There's no one. Okay, so this is just a small dungeon. That's fine. That's fine. So we're gonna go hit this uh, 
other danger Gruen. It's down the road and to the left. We'll come back on that Dramora, or not Dramora, that uh, Dwimmer Ruin. Yeah, this is the way I came uh, previously. Whenever we first got here, we came around this way, but whenever I came up through here from our autosave, like the error that I got, it was kind of like one of them scripting issues, you know, like it couldn't find like what it was looking for. So I had to reload. I was afraid that it might have messed our game up and I didn't want to like continue that save if it was giving me like a, you know, file corrupted type deal. So hopefully we avoid whatever it is caused that. I don't know what caused it. I googled it and tried to find answers about it, but apparently it's uh, not something to do with mods, so I was messing with uh, Vortex, but I was managing the Skyrim, so I don't know why it would do anything in this game, but it did reset like all of my menus and stuff, you know, like everything was moved around the wrong way. What is this? A Daedric Dagger. I'm taking that. But it didn't move everything around and it kind of like really seemed like it broke the game is what it's, it felt like. That's why I went back to the autosave to continue to try to bypass whatever it is that corrupted our save. And I also went ahead and did this too. I didn't figure out how to get rid of these saves so I just saved over them. So we have uh, multiple saves of our guy. They're just named different things. But we're still going to use the Joe Alexy as our main save. And I will delete those other ones whenever the time is right and I figure it out. Ashal Mimakala. Have we been in here? We have been in here. A little bit. But stuff respawned. We will vanquish them. It is up to us to make sure... Oh my goodness, we are getting stuff. Danger tools. Yes, yeah, so another one looks like it replenished. Is this deep? Okay. Okay. I thought it was deep. Yeah, we've already been all up in here. I think this is where uh, some people were hiding we had to kill. I don't know for who. We have had to kill multiple people. You know what? I'm pulling a torch out because that uh, thing messing up my menus did mess up my settings now that I think about it. Maybe not. Transparency is none and subtitles is on. Okay. It must have just messed with stuff. Other stuff. Come on, my guy. You can get hold of this. What are you? Urge rod. Divine judgment silver staff. So that might be a quest item. His body is still here. And he's got a name, so that's probably not going to despawn. We're not going to bother him. Instead, since we've already been in here, I think we're going to get out of here for now. And we're going to go check out that door and ruin. Yeah, so this is the way that I got back over here. No, that way I swam. Alright, so we're going to head over here to this dwarven ruin. And we're going to see what's in here. We're going to see what we can find. For goodies. Treasure. This place is just so calm and peaceful. Kind of unnerving and unsettling, it being so calm and peaceful. You're well aware of the kind of horrors that hide in the woods. Why they are not showing their souls, I do not know. A matter of time, I'm sure they will. Yeah, here's a very scamps, I could skin them all. Oh, really? Hey, he didn't, like, turn into a pile. That's odd. 
That's pretty odd. Usually those guys turn into dust whenever you kill them, but for some reason he maintained his physical form. Hmm. Some powers of dark magic at hand here, I believe. And we have not been in here. Excellent. Time to die. Oh my god, is he one of the biggest? Okay, he's good. I thought he was one of those uh, bigger ones that actually like pack a punch. They kind of look the same, but I think the other ones are called something like a... I don't know, like a thing. Like a legend. A legendary sentry on or something along those lines. Ooh! I don't know what we can use them for, but I love finding those. Alright, so I'm gonna use the torch again. Now, with my menus and stuff, uh, rearranging like that, I was kind of worried that it would mess up my lighting effects and stuff that I kind of had a little bit fixed. So, wait, where are you going? Okay. Here you gone. But yeah, I think it might have messed up my lighting effects a little bit. That's okay. It might have reset it back to uh, default settings. Which, if it did, that would really help us out a lot, because I kind of got my hands on the settings. Made some errors. Got a little bit of a lag spike there, too. Alright. expecting to find treasure in here because this place isn't really well hidden. I'm enjoying the diamonds and rubies though. There's only a lock level 5, that's fine. Usually they're a way higher lock level than they are. We must be like in a lower area, which we are not that far from Sidon. No, we kind of are. I was thinking maybe it was like a leveled area, depending on the area you're in, the harder enemies will be. Possible. Not for sure, but it's possible. What does that stuff do? We're going to take that. Fortify agility. We might be able to smear that on something and use it. More coins! Thank you, thank you. Alright. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my goodness, we are rolling in the gemstones. That's all that's in here. Okay, so a small area. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to find that uh, six house place again that I passed in the uh, catch up. I wanna see. Right. I'm gonna die. Okay, so it was kind of like near the water's edge. Let me put this away so it don't ruin it. We don't have that many of those. Um, yeah, there it is. That Sienna Knight. I. Th that sounds familiar, but I don't believe we have been there. All right. This thing for us to do is keep moving. Not slow down. The moment we slow down, we will get gummed up by enemies jumping us. I just have that feeling. Especially in the water. All right, so I accidentally passed this place on the ketchup. Yeah, I really don't know what happened to uh, the game save file. It was saying something along like, uh, 
script read error and like it couldn't find what it was looking for you know like something got deleted but I didn't mess with any of the Morrowind files so I don't know if I but I don't know Sienna Knight you're dead Okay, so he's harder to hit. Get off of me. Alright. An Ash Ghoul. Why was he so hard to kill? Uh, the spirits are strong in this area. Wise to proceed with caution. There's enemies. You know what? I'm gonna step outside and do a real quick rest. Oh, solid ground only. Alright. So I'm gonna start doing that more too, uh, to make sure we get the autosave because the autosave that I had to reload and uh, play catch up was fine, but for some reason, our main uh, save file was corrupted. What the hell is that? Oh, I don't know why I thought that was a helmet. Alright, let's get us some light. There we go. There we go. So these guys are just here stacking equipment. quite figured that out yet. We know who they worshipped, not why. Alright, so our inventory is getting full, cool, get you good. I love finding like enchanted items. That's like the next best thing to go. <laughs> right in the middle of all of Mora. That would be terrible. <clears throat> Something to see, but terrible. Okay, it kind of looked like I could go up underneath there. I don't have any thing to protect me from lava or fire. But that's it. There it is. Alright, so this place was small too. Yeah, we're kind of getting a little bit heavy in the loot department. Actually, since we're right here, I want to see if I can find that outlet. Yeah. Hold on, I'm sewer. 
we're gonna go check this out because I know we went like through that entire place but I don't know if we went down in the sewers we probably did just to make sure we don't want to get out of here we don't want to leave any stone unturned because it could pay off in the greatest of ways it's always good to be optimistic about stuff it's always good to be optimistic that is until something goes horribly wrong how did i miss that Away, ain't it? See, when I seen it, I seen it from across the way. It's like right here, and I just wasted a torch. Alright, first I'm gonna do this. Okay, yeah, so we have been all up in here. Yeah, there's no reason for us to continue up in there. So we're gonna hit this a miracle our way out of here. Alright. Home sweet hope. Sweet home. Yeah, so whenever I go to drop this stuff at our house, I'm going to cut that out of the video. I probably won't even put that in the video because I don't want that just to be an entire episode of me just like looking at stuff and dropping stuff. You guys probably want to see like some of the items in there. So I, whenever we do the next sell off video, instead of doing how I usually do and just like grab a bunch of stuff, edit, and then uh, sell like that I think what I'll do is just go through and dig through the pile I think this is a uh, item that the person wants at the museum oh my god yeah we're gonna have to sell some crap before this gets too overrun with trash and debris what was that oh that was Keeney it's a very nice looking knife laying on the ground so we got a lot of stuff to sell, but we'll do that in a, another episode. I don't really know what we're going to do in the next episode. If you guys got any suggestions, post in the comments, and we will get to it. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome.